given question a vertical shaft 12.5 mm in diameter rotates in a sleeve bearing and a disc of mass 15 kg is attached to the shaft at mid span the span of the shaft between bearing is 0.5 meter the mass center of the disc is 0.5 mm from the axis of the shaft determine critical speed of rotation of shaft what is the range of speed in which bending stress in shaft will exit 125 newton per millimeter square take e is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter square let us understand given data with the help of diagram. Diameter of the shaft is given 0 0.0125 meter. Mass of the disc is mentioned 15 kilogram. Span of the shaft in between the bearings that is this length L is given 0 0.5 meter. Now the mass center Distance from the axis of rotation is given. Now this mass center is known as center of gravity point G and the distance from the axis of rotation that is this distance E is given 0 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Bending stress is given in Newton per millimeter square but standard unit is Newton per meter square so we have to take 125 divided by now 1 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter so 10 raised to minus 3 bracket square so if we take here this 10 raised to minus 3 bracket square that means 10 raised to minus 6 if we take this 10 raised to minus 6 in the numerator, then 125 into 10 raised to 6 Newton per meter square. Then modulus of elasticity is also mentioned in Newton per millimeter square. So we have to multiply this term with 10 raised to 6. So here 2 into 10 raised to 11 Newton per meter square. Now as per this given data, we have to find out critical speed of rotation of the shaft. Now at the critical speed, shaft rotate at its natural frequency. That is, for the critical speed, if we use suffix C, then we can say that omega C is equal to omega N. And we have to find out critical speed that is NC. So, how to find out? So, we have one relation that is omega N is equal to under root of k by m here k is the stiffness of the shaft now to find out the stiffness k of the shaft we have to first find out delta that is the static deflection in the shaft so what is the formula to find out this k so k is equal to w by delta and this delta is nothing but the static deflection so we will first find out delta that is the static deflection in the shaft. Now it is mentioned that the shaft rotates in sleeve bearings. So we will use here the type that is the shaft fixed at its both ends. And now when the shaft fixed at its both ends then we have formula for delta is equal to WL cube divided by 192 EI. Now how to find out the value of i. So for the value of i we have formula pi by 64 d raised to 4. Here this d is the diameter of the shaft and that is mentioned in the question. So when we calculate this then we will get the answer 1.19 into 10 raised to minus 9. So we will put the value. So what is this w? So w is 15 into 9.81 that is m into g so we can write here w is equal to this m multiplied by g then l is given 0 0.5 cube divided by 192 e is given modulus of elasticity 2 into 10 raised to 11 and i is also calculated 1.19 into 10 raised to minus 9. So when we calculate this we will get the answer 0 0.04 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Now we will use the formula k is equal to w by delta that is equal to mg by delta and when we put the value we will get 367.875 newton per meter. 
Now we will calculate omega n that is the natural frequency which is also known as omega c which is equal to under root of k by m. So we have to first calculate this 3, 6, 7, 8, 7, 5 divided by 15 and then we have to take this square root. So answer is 156.60 radians per second. Now from this we can calculate the value of nc that is critical speed. So here it is mentioned that critical speed and it is in RPM or RPS. So when we use this formula omega n or omega c is equal to 2 pi nc by 60 then we will get this nc value in RPM that is revolution per minute. So put, we will put the value. So value of omega c 156.6 is equal to 2 pi nc by 60. So this unknown term nc is equal to 1495.45 rpm. Now we will move to the second question. We have to find out speed range of the shaft. If we observe this diagram, the shaft rotates with angular velocity omega 1. And when this shaft rotates, it is subjected to the additional dynamic load w1. So we have to first find out this W1. Now we have formula for the maximum bending moment. So we know that when the shaft rotates then there is the bend in the shaft. And the formula for maximum bending moment that is M max is equal to W1 L by 8. Now we have another formula in terms of M that is for the bending moment. So we will write the second formula. It is bending equation. So we have formula for bending equation. Sigma B by Y is equal to M by I. Where sigma B is the bending stress and it is mentioned in the question 125 into 10 raised to 6. Where this capital Y is equal to D by 2. Where D is the diameter of the shaft. And then M we will write as it is and this I. So value of I that is the inertia pi by 64 into d raised to 4. So here we have to write d raised to 4. Now when we simplify this we have to find out this value of m. So we will transfer all the terms that is this denominator term to the left hand side. So when we simplify then m is equal to pi by 32 d cube into 125 into 10 raised to 6. That is this term is sigma b. Now when we calculate this because d is known that is diameter of shaft is mentioned in the question. So when we calculate we will get the answer 23.9. So now we will compare these two that is this is the first equation and this is the value of m. So when we put this 23.9 is equal to w1 l by 8 then we will get the value of w1. So L that is the length of the shaft is mentioned in the question 0 0.5. So W1 is equal to 382.4 Newton. When the shaft rotates with angular velocity omega 1 then the geometric center point S which is originally at this center line it is getting shifted by distance y and this y that is the deflection in dynamic condition and now we have to find out the value of y. So we will compare the values for the deflection as well as load in static and dynamic condition. So we will write here for static condition deflection is delta then load is w. And for the dynamic condition when the deflection is y then load is w1. Now we will put the value. So delta we have calculated 0 0.04 into 10 raised to minus 2. And W that is M into G that is mass 15 kilogram multiplied by 9.81. And for dynamic condition Y we have to find out and load W1 is 382.4 Newton. So we will cross multiply these terms. So 382.4 into 0 0.04 into 10 raised to minus 2 is equal to 15 into 9.81 into y. So y is equal to 1.04 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. So this is the value of y. Now we have to find out the speed range of the shaft. That is we have to find out the range for this omega 1. 
Now this is the shaft that is damping is not provided that means it is undamped shaft. So we will write the formula for undamped vertical shaft with single rotor. We have formula y by e is equal to 1 divided by 1 by r square minus 1. Where r is known as frequency ratio and we know that r is equal to omega by omega n. Now the shaft rotates at critical speed with natural frequency. So instead of omega n we will write here omega c. And it's this omega that is the angular velocity of the shaft. So for this question it is omega 1. So how we can write here 1 by r. So 1 by r we will write here omega c by omega 1. So for 1 by, 1 by r square we will use here omega c by omega 1 bracket square. So how we will rewrite here y by e is equal to 1 divided by omega c by omega 1 bracket square minus 1. Now we will put the value of y and e. We have also calculated value of omega c. So we will put that value and we will find out the speed range of the shaft. Value of y we have calculated 1.04 into 10 raised to minus c. Value of e that is mentioned in the question 0.5 into 10 raised to minus c is equal to 1 divided by. Now here omega c by omega 1. So omega c that is nothing but omega n and we have calculated 156.6 by omega 1 bracket square minus 1. Now we will simplify this on the left hand side we will calculate here 2.0832 is equal to 1 divided by 156.6 by omega 1 bracket square minus 1. Now we will take this denominator term to the left hand side and this right hand side uh, this left hand side term that is 2.0832 to the right hand side. So it will move to the denominator. So when we calculate this we will get 0 0.48. Now we have to find out the speed range of the shaft. So for this whole denominator term there are two options that is this 0 0.48 may be plus positive or 0 0.48 may be negative. So we have to take any one value and we have to define that range. That is when we take plus 0 0.48 then we will get the one value and when we consider this minus 0 0.48 then we will get the second value and these two values are nothing but the speed range of the shaft so for one option is 156.6 by omega 1 bracket square minus 1 is equal to plus 0 0.48 so how we can rewrite this term so i will transfer this minus 1 to the uh, right hand side so it will become plus and 156.6 square divided by omega 1 square is equal to this uh, plus 0 0.48 plus 1 that is 1.48. The second value we will consider as 156.6 by omega 2 bracket square minus 1 is equal to minus 0 0.48. So this minus 1 we will transfer to the right hand side then minus 0 0.48 plus 1 that is 0 0.52. So we will write here as a 156.6 square by omega 2 square is equal to 0 0.52. Now we will again find out the value of omega 1 and value of omega 2. So we will simplify this. We will transfer omega 1 to the right hand side and this 1.48 to the left hand side. So omega 1 square is equal to now square of this is 24523.56 by 1.48. So omega 1 is equal to 128.72 radians per second. So this omega 1 we will write 2 pi n1 by 60. So n1 is equal to 1229.76 rpm. So this is the first value. Now in the same way we will find out the second value omega 2 square is equal to. Now the square of 156.6 is this divided by 0 0.52 which is 217.16 radians per second. So omega 2 is equal to 2 pi n2 by 60. So here n2 is there and n2 is 2074.69 rpm. So this is the speed range of the shaft n1 and n2.